Dennis in West Babylon, New York writes to me, Paul, I love your videos as they are both informative and entertaining. Why, thank you, sir. I've heard you explain how to find first reflections by having a friend move a mirror along the sidewall until you can see the tweeter in the mirror from the listening position. If the speakers are towed in, you would still see the tweeters at the same point along the wall, but wouldn't the reflection point change as a result of towing in? Thanks for all you do. Well, um, yeah, but I think, Dennis, you're being a little too specific. So yes, when we have tweeters or just speakers creating a waveform that comes out, a sonic waveform that comes out, what happens? Well, let's say that the, the speaker is here. It comes out and we get direct sound going straight to us and we get reflected sound that bounces off the windows, the walls, which is one of the reasons why we have diffusers over here and absorbers, a good combination of diffusers and absorbers, especially at the point of first reflection is really important. And one of the things I've written about in the Audiophiles Guide, the series of books that I have, is how do you find that point of first reflection, right? So speaker shoots out sound, some of it goes directly to the listener, some of it goes over here, hits the wall, bounces back and arrives kind of out of time. And that messes up the imaging, right? So you need to find the point of first reflection and then put a diffuser there. Now here, we've got diffusers all over, but what he's talking about is if you're sitting in the listening position and you have a friend, here's the speaker, you're sitting over there and you have a friend hold a mirror, as you walk around at one point, the listener is going to say, ah, I see the tweeter in the mirror. Well, that's the point of first reflection. So if it's here or here, it's not that big of a deal. So the point of first reflection is in fact important and that's where you want to put a bookshelf. You want to put diffusers. I'm not particularly fond of absorbers at the point of first reflection. Now, this room is different because we don't have speakers in it. And even if we did, you know, over the years, you, you get a feel for making a room sound right. And it's going to be a combination of, depending on the room, diffusers and absorbers, but mostly diffusers. And why does that work? Well, because when that sound hits a diffuser, it does its namesake. It diffuses the sound. So when it hits your ear, your ear says, I, I'm a little confused with that sound. I don't know. It's out of time, but it's confused. It's not something that I'm going to pay attention to. And I ignore it. And I pay attention to the direct sound, which is what you want. So, all right, I hope that helps. Thanks.